Good morning, everyone. Can I please have a quick sound check? Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Out Loud Trading Room. My name is Anka Metcalf. It is 9.22 a.m. Eastern, and it is 7.24. And let's get started with the major economic releases for the day. 9.45, just about 15 minutes after the start, we have Flash Manufacturing PMI, and we have Flash Services PMI. And at 10 o'clock, coinciding with one of the most... Uh, important reversal times of the day, 10 a.m. Eastern, we have new home sales. And that's going to be pretty interesting for us. Let's get in depth with our analysis for the trading session today. And we're opening the day uh, with a little bit of red print on our screen. So we have the Dow, which is down 150 uh, points, 0.57% uh, to the downside, and many S&P 17 points down, 0.50% to the downside. We have an acceleration lower into NASDAQ, which is the most advanced index, to the negative side, minus 1.15%. It is down 121 points right now, and we have Russell that is down 6.0.40%. We have a nice balance into the Dow, the S&P, and Russell. Russell still has the strongest uh, pattern. We're going to talk of just in a few seconds. And gold, as you can see here, soaring over 1900. So just to push through that 1900. We talked about gold. Gold is again very volatile. Whenever you have profits into it, uh, you just take the profits. We close the trade. And I'm very happy with the results that we've got because uh, oil, uh, gold is on the riskier side, just, uh, just as oil is as well. Oil is still creating the pendulum effect before uh, between support and resistance. We're going to talk in depth, but nonetheless, it is it's going to open flat. And gold is opening $12 to the upside with 0.65%. All right, let's go in depth and let's take a look at some charts and see what we have in store for the trading session today. I'm going to move the screen right now. So please give me a heads up as soon as you have uh, in front of you just one chart. Okay, thanks so much. All right, so the overall structure in the Dow is still for, uh, it's still uptrending. So we have a low, we have a higher low. And if, can, if today we're gonna start breaking above this purple line right here, the 26, 540, 540 level, it's around, around into that area, we can enter a short squeeze with a target into the 600 and uh, 670 or so. We do have a bearish line below today, and that is into the 26400 zone. You can see that we're testing into that area. Again, I am not going to take any trades until I see the opportunity arising with a setup, with a sync, with the market structure. It needs to be in sync with the timing in the market. It needs to be in sync with our trigger times. So again, it can potentially be bearish below. If it's bearish below, it's gonna have a target of 26,300, 26,200, and 26,100. So we're gonna let uh, the market dictate. So far, neutral price action, we're not bullish, we're not bearish on the, uh, the M&E Dow. The m and &E P. you can see obviously, you can see the structure, right? Higher highs and higher lows. Guys, what do you do when you see higher highs and higher lows? Everybody's looking to buy the dip. Will this be the day to buy the dip? Well, it's going to be bullish above the purple line right here, which is the, into the uh, 3225. And it's going to react bearish below, but very cautious about the bearish below. Uh, 3209 to 3208, that is going to be the area with the potential very painful target of 3190. Uh, this is going to be more of a bearish zone, accentuated bearish zone uh, right below the 3190 level. All right, let's get into NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, obviously, it's a little bit more uh, bearish because uh, it is the most declined index, but it's still sitting on support, double bottom support from back, uh, back into last Tuesday. So a week and a half ago, you could see it right here at 10,400. So we didn't really give back a lot of profits, but we're still giving back support. So we're talking about the market, not our performance. So basically 10,400 is the double bottom support. We also have a double top support, which makes this a perfect wide range. Uh, I, uh, per, in particular, I'm seeing a possible danger zone with a, uh, with a more accentuated pullback into the NASDAQ. 
If it trades below 10,350, that is going to be the meaningful breakdown for me. So remember that number, 10,350. And we can have a pullback that can have a profit target level of 10,180 and 10,100 and 10,080. These are gonna be the three targets. All right, let's move on to Russell, RTY. And Russell is still into an uptrend. You could see that we have loads, we have a series of rising tops and rising bottoms, and it is the one index that is still holding into the highs. So we're having some divergency right here, obviously, right ahead of the open. Uh, we're gonna be bullish above. Uh, you could see the buy zone, which is into the 1488 to 1490 area. This is going to be the confirmation for the buy to the long side. Right now, we're back into the chop zone, so nothing significant right now. We're gonna be neutral on the trading session today. We're gonna start to be moderately, moderately, moderately bearish if the price is going to stay below 1480 and not raise above. So we're seeing right now uh, a range between that 1480 area and that four, uh, 1488 to 90 zone. We're gonna have to wait to see the close of these, at least of the 15 minute candles below this bearish zones. And we're gonna have to wait for a setup. Remember the number one rule, we have a setup, we have a trade. We don't have a setup, we don't have a trade. The entry represents the entry, the stop is the stop, and the targets are targets. I do recommend on days like today, obviously still volatile, use half of your risk. Look at your account size. Are you a 1%, 2%, or 3% trader? Depending on your personal risk tolerance and preference, decide what risk per day that is. You do not trade without knowing what your risk per day is and uh, the environment of the current session. On days like today, volatile days, choppy days, sideways days, it's better to trade with half of your risk size per trade. And again, I was mentioning about the entry. I was mentioning about the stop. Guys, if you are here in the room, do not try to reinvent trades. If I see a certain market condition, whether it's bullish or bearish, or whether I'm having a trade at a certain parameter, there's a reason why I have it at that parameter. There's a reason why I'm exiting the trade. There's a reason why I'm taking profits at certain targets if I mention get in the room. So if you wanna have optimum results, if you have no trading experience or very little trading experience, or if you have hit a rough patch, Carbon copy my trades. No thinking, just carbon copy my trades. Look at the performance and how you would have done if you have not reinvented trading, okay, on your own. All right, so these are the major uh, things that we're going to be watching today. Also, I want to put ZB, and this is going to be a wrap. The market just opened right now. Uh, ZB had a big punch into the 180-130 and had a fade back into support level, very close to the support level. So this may create, again, another divergency for the market. All right, the games are on right now. So we're gonna stop the share. We're gonna go back into our watch list and we're gonna watch patiently for a trade to develop. For the trading session today, right from the open, I do not have a favorite trade that is my go-to trade. We're just gonna have to watch price action activity and see if we have anything that is lining up. Remember, on days like today, you need to have a lot of patience. I would rather I would rather miss a trade than have a losing trade because I wait for confirmation into the market. This is not a day to be impulsive. And once again, it is a day where confirmation is definitely going to uh, be worth waiting for, okay? So we're trading right now below the bearish below area. Remember, it's not significant because we did not have a pattern that is forming around that zone. So we're gonna have to wait for a pattern formation. One other thing, I am not going to take any questions in the first hour. If you have any questions, I will definitely answer all those questions uh, after 10.30 or 11 o'clock, okay? Uh, Alex, the SQ means short squeeze.
Now we're going to have to wait for price action reaction. Remember, NASDAQ is weaker today. So the Qs and the spies have gapped down. Caterpillar still strong. Walmart strong. Disney incredibly strong right from the open. Incredible strength in Disney, which leads us to the Dow. We're starting to have a little bit of favorites right now. So we're watching the Dow. All right, take a look at the wigs. How important it is to know what to watch and when to watch it. Financials are probably going to get ready for uh, some action going into next week. City, very strong. Financials are uh, definitely strong today. Remember, we do have news in about 10 minutes. The market is still calibrating. Uh, a lot of weakness in NASDAQ right now. Not taking any action here. Uh, yes, Phyllis. 
watching uh watching actually the five and the 15 minute 15 minute would be better because it will line up with the 945 timing uh into the market and also it will line up after the news releases notice that oil is again a little bit weaker uh we're getting a little bit bearish here in russell i'm just gonna put russell back into uh the five minute because i was watching it on the hourly structure <clears throat> U.S. dollar falls to lowest since mid-March versus the yen. Teeter-totter teeter effect, gold up. We're having uh, the dollar lower. Boeing is uh, definitely still holding the 50 SMA. I want to look at the theme here to see what our theme for today is. So following Goldman Sachs, uh, you know, comments um, on uh, on the market, on Apple, et cetera, you know, Apple is um, pulling back. I would like to see Apple rotation in around the 350 for a potential swing. Baba is right on support. VIX are into resistance here. All right, let's see after this uh, first uh, 10 minute volatile move what we're going to be getting. Noticing that the Dow is still holding, still treacherous, but still holding. Uh, the S&P had the first break of that moderately bearish below. Let's see how it's going to act here. This is just still very early. I'm very interested to see uh, into the 945 segment to see how and if we're going to get something that is going to line up for the risk. Please don't be tempted to jump in trades. If you jump in trades, then you have your own agenda. AMD uh, is one of our swings, just printed $66.78. Um, the Dow is actually really nicely, um, Look at the Dow here. And we have just achieved, uh, see, this would have been a nice trade here, but the risk was actually very, very big for this NASDAQ trade right off the open. The risk needed to be into 475 and the entry would have been 400. So 75 points stop. So no, thank you. Let's see where the Dow goes here. So NASDAQ took out that uh, area that I mentioned. All right, and <laughs> here we go. Uh,
giving you an idea about the risk today if we're going to have a trade in the Dow. It's probably going to line up in about three minutes. The entry for 36 and the stop 350 if we're going to get along. Still not official yet. Again, like I highlighted earlier when we started the session, please don't just jump in here, okay? If I'm looking at a certain name for a long or a short, I'm looking at exact parameters. You're either taking the trade at my trigger or just do your own thing. But then don't ask me to help you out because it's not gonna work out. So we're looking at 436 for a potential entry. This is substantial support here in NASDAQ. Thirty seconds to go. Uh, the Dow trade is going to be I would like to have at least the first thirty seconds uh, to see the news first. Uh, remember, this is an extremely volatile market, extremely volatile market. Use half of your risk, half. Okay, so if you usually risk one contract, use five micros. Okay. Inside bar and yes, Russell still not done. Even if we take, uh, so far we may possibly have a long into YM. Like I said, into the 436. It's gonna be painful to get it through 460, but if it gets through 460, then it can't it can possibly continue higher into 475, 480. Here's the trade, 436 by 350.
First target is going to be into the 450. Four sixty second target. Like I said, it's it's going to be painful until we get it over four sixty five. Oops, sorry, target. Scratch that four sixty. It's four sixty, not five sixty. Five sixty. It's four sixty. So it's four fifty, four sixty, and four seventy five. Then we have 480. Hey Brad, yeah, for um, I looked at the VIX like for you know to day trade it, you know, or like a mini swing is okay. It has not done anything significant yet on the weekly. But thanks for bringing it up. I put it back on the chart since you mentioned it yesterday because it flew off my chart again. And we're using a hard stop. monitoring the Dow stocks and they're still very strong. Pfizer pullback, Myrna pullback. I'm looking at these pharmaceuticals. Laura, oh my God, no. That is where you scale out. That is where you take profits. That is where you take, you do not add. Those are take profit areas. Partial profits. So Laura, if you, let's say you're trading with um, um, five or six contracts, minis, micros, whatever they are, you take profit into each uh, target or you just keep the whole entire position for trailing. And I will provide information on that as well. Financials are holding very strong. I don't know if they're going to be the last ones that are going to be uh, giving it up or I'm telling you guys, Caterpillar just moving higher. I'm noticing these Dow stocks. They're like these little monsters that are just really strong. These little dragons 
that are wanting to push the market higher. Google is right on support. Baba, right on the 20 SMA. All we have to do is sit and wait. All the stops that I paused are hard stops today. 350 is the bottom line, is the hard stop. Now we need to see a print of 420 in order to start pushing higher back into the highs that we made into the 439. Then we need to see confirmation over 440 and 448 in order to start pushing higher. We were at two points to achieving, three points actually to achieving target one at 450. We would get a lot more pressure if Russell is going to start printing 1473. If Russell is going to start printing 1473, the Dow is going to snap higher faster. I would like to see inside candles um, within these 15 minute structures in the S yes and that stock. Obviously, Russell, so let's put Russell here on the 15 structure as well. Okay, some of the biggest NASDAQ uh, stocks that are pointing higher today are definitely AMD, uh, Orly, Costco, CSX, Netflix, Fox A, TXN, WBA up a little bit, and they're like little grinders, and then there are a bunch of stocks that are uh, neutral and then we have some we have the Tesla's the Amazon 
in the REGN that are weighing down um, NASDAQ right now, but they're rotating. Let me take a look at Amazon. I don't really want to be aggressive, but I love these short squeezes. Okay, so Amazon. Amazon, nice rotation. Very nice Amazon, let's see. If Amazon is gonna start typing 29.59, it's gonna go for a gap fill. And if we have these uh, NASDAQ stocks that are gonna start moving higher a little bit, uh, we're gonna get the market get uh, going. All right, top of the hour, we have our 10 a.m. lows in and we have our 10 a.m. 10 a.m. highs. And we are in the core of the range in NASDAQ and Russell and the mini s and uh, a little bit stronger than NASDAQ and Russell. We're also having weakness in CL that I'm monitoring and we're getting 15 minute inside and up uh, in s and which is constructive and we're on our way to possibly printing that 450. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. 58. We're printing right now 60s. We have target one and target two achieved. We're going to look for 475. Let's get this going. We have a one hour rotation in progress right now. First 30 minutes of the day done. And we're into a one hour rotation. We need to see right now of 463. We need to see a 463. All indices are right now into resistance. We need to blast over this resistance in order to have some velocity to the upside. The US June new home sales jump 13.8% to 776,000 and the consensus was 702,000. All right, that was the pop on the news.
All right. We still uh, have some time here. We're grinding into the gap fill. We have just reached that target, uh, target, which was the resistance at the 450. We just broke ever so slightly above that into the 460. Nvidia bouncing, Nvidia not weak, guys. Nvidia's firming up, Baba firming up green right now. Google as well. Netflix, Amazon. Netflix, uh, uh, Facebook is lagging. Wow, NASDAQ is powering and uh, YM, which was the leader today, is just uh, stalling right now. Like I said earlier, I, I do love these kind of days where 
Um, we have this really nice um, potential for these short squeezes, but they're extremely aggressive. Okay, they're extremely aggressive and they have a very high incidence of stopping out. So for this reason, I will not call them out loud in the room. It's enough that we are doing this YM. Uh, no, no, as a day trade, Craig, no, I'm not gonna do Amazon. No. It has the potential and it's nice to look at it, you know, for a strength perspective, if you're trading the Dow or anything or NASDAQ, but no. Yes, Aaron, exactly. The S&P needs 3210, needs to lift over that 3210. And RTY needs 1475 in order to get the lift. And we, <laughs> we need 465 in order to get the lift. We need to see a print of 465 to get it to 75 and 80 and so on. If we're gonna get there, no trailing so far. So focus on the trade. Let's focus on our trade. So drama averted. New York trading session traders are back to the upside. Okay, so NASDAQ and S&P right now are trading above those first resistance spots. Russell is not there yet, and it's just meandering between 70 and 75. Come on, YM. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. We printed a 68. 70. We have a 70 in the bag. One more tick to 75. We have the other target at 75. The next spot is 475 and 480. We don't have a trail stop just yet. Uh, Keith, yes, you have to negotiate. I'm telling you from the think or swim perspective, you can negotiate your commissions once you have a number of trades. If you're actively day trading every three or six or six months, you can call them and renegotiate your futures uh, uh, commissions, depending on how many trades you have going on. Even if you take, let's say, one or two trades a day, you are still going to be um, qualified for a negotiation. Um, that is with TD Ameritrade. You have to call, guys. Just call. Call them. What do you have to lose?
Okay, so we're getting into a moment of stalling here. We have two more minutes and we really need to see a break over 75 in the next two minutes. Uh, T2 is drawing attention to everybody here. If uh, you guys are using Ninja, please check your statement for yesterday. They charged a very high commission. We have one more minute and we need to see that 75 print. In fact, we do have um, 15.029. T2 was uh, just posted in the room here. It says, any Ninja Trader uh, user, please check your statement for yesterday's, uh, for yesterday. They charged a very high commission. We have a one minute rotation, two minutes starting to kick in. We landed, so this high that you guys see it into 74, landed into the 20 SMA New York Trading Session charts. Four seconds, three, two, one, blast off. We need to see 75 print. We see 75 print, we're going to 80. And then we're gonna start trailing. On the five minute, we also have the uh, 200 SMA right there into that 75. So that's why the price is uh, gyrating. We also have prior price action from yesterday's trading session uh, that is creating resistance. And that is from the end of the trading session, actually. It's from um, four o'clock. Okay, baby steps right now. We need to see a print of 72 and then we need to see a print of 76. Oh my goodness, T2, they charge $9 versus nine cents. Okay, here we go, guys. 80 target, 80 target, hit. We're gonna start entering a trail mode in about three minutes. That is crazy. That is crazy charge right there. So the next target that we're gonna go for above the 480, let's see if we get it into 500, but we're gonna start our trailing process in just a little while. So keep in mind 500 is our next target and the trail is not determined yet. NASDAQ very violent to the downside and now recoup very nice moving forwards. Keith, you had a slippage again. I just saw it right now in the trading room posted. Uh, you are you using think or swim? Did you uh, did you take the micros or um, the full size? I've noticed um, a lot of traders um, having, yes, um, having slippage. Yep. Okay, here we go. Nice move, brand new high of the day, new high of the day, 491 for the high.
I mean, two points is not that bad when you're talking about the Dow, you know, it's not that bad, but that shouldn't happen. But I have experienced slippage with full size, Keith. We are three points to achieving 500. The the short term volatility here is about of 25 points. So that's why I don't want to choke the trade and I'm not giving you um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not giving you a trail yet. Just stay with me. Mini bear. <laughs> no action. No action. I have my eyes on it. No action in um, in Russell Rooney. We need one more impulse for higher here and we're going to be done for the day. One more impulse higher. That's all we need. It's just like at the dentist, right? <laughs> when the dentist is literally like drilling in your tooth, they're like, oh, just a few more seconds and we're done. Same thing here. <laughs> Imagine you're at the dentist right now. All right. Oh, I don't have a good trail zone, guys. I don't have a good trail zone right now. The trail would be 450. I don't like it. So I want to put my trail into the 480, but I need to hit 500 or 505 in order to do that. And I don't want to take myself out of the trade powerhouse. Uh, NASDAQ not looking back. So I'm looking at NASDAQ and ah. <laughs> All right. I know it's painful. I know it's painful, but just hold on a sec. Hold, hold on a sec. We're trying to squeeze this Dow lemon here. <laughs> We're trying to make a lemonade. Come on, Russell, get over 1475. And NASDAQ is approaching that 20 SMA, which definitely is going to see some price gyrations, not unless it really breaks above that area. It's going to stall and a heavy, heavy resistance into the 3214 to 30, 3213 into uh, the mini SMP. Uh, the Dow is trying to regain the two minute 10 EMA New York trading session charts and that is into the 60s zone. Okay, let's see a print now back to 80. Let's see if we could get it back to 80 in about 30 seconds. Come on, back to 80. 20 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Back to 80. We need it into 80 in uh, 10 seconds right now. We did it. It did it. It did it. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, zero. Now we need 85. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now we need to see 89. Come on. See, I don't like that fleecing. I told you it's about a 20 point fleece area in the Dow. Come on, let's make it. Let's make it right now too. Now we need to see a print of 90. Baby steps, baby steps. The drill is still on guys. <laughs> the drill is still on. <laughs> if you need a little bit of oxygen, let me know. Let me know, come on, back over 80. We need to see it back over 80 within the next 10 seconds. Back over 80. Dow is still going, digesting really well, that 20 SMA. We need to get a lift in the Dow. Where are my Dow stocks? Ah, I closed my charts. <laughs> okay, here they are. Okay. We have, 
I need to see it over 90 again. If I see it over 90 again, we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start trailing. Come on, 90s. Almost there. Give me a 90. I'm in long. You started your happy dance. <laughs> I love it. Come on, 490. We need that 490, guys. I'm telling you, we need the 490. We really need the 490. Stay with me. All right. Oh my goodness. Like, take a look at NASDAQ here. <laughs> Enough already, Dow. Come on, we're getting Russell's. Russell has started to move. We need um, we need 90. Uh, then we need 95. Uh, then we need 99, 98, and then we need 500. Okay, Russell is going. Come on, Dow. What's the lag in the Dow right now? Disney strong, Boeing strong, Caterpillar very strong. Oh, okay. Financials. Financials acting up a little bit. They're printing some red. All right, guys. Loving trading. We're one point away from our 500 and let's see it. 501. Let's see if we could do it higher. We love it higher. Okay. In about very, very soon. Okay. In about, in about, in about, we're going to move our trail to 480. Wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. Let's not be uh, complacent, okay? We wanna be very hands-on, very proactive. We're not giving back any kind of profits. And I want to see 509, 506 or 509, and then I'm gonna start trailing. Keep your fingers on the 480 right now. Keep your fingers on the 480 trail. If I say go at 480, you should be out at 480. Trail 480, right now, 480. 480 is gonna be your trail stop. 480 is gonna be your trail stop. We're done. All right, we're done. Drilling is done. Okay, you can go home now. <laughs> It was just a little cavity. <laughs> no extractions today. <laughs> All right, no root canals. All right, everyone. Basically, we're done for the day. It is 1030. The market is so wishy-washy right now. We're hitting resistance into the m and s and NASDAQ. Uh, really nice fluidity that went to, to the price into NASDAQ, ran into the 50 SMA. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. We tapped into the 500. I'm, I still see it higher, okay? So longer term, longer term, this can be higher, but uh, the actual trail stop for this particular trade needed to be 450. I did not wanna have that uh, risk going uh, uh, for everybody here today. So I think we did great. Uh, we trailed, uh, we actually trailed very nicely into our 480 uh, area. Uh, there is a strong price divergency right now. Uh, we initiated the trade at 436. And we trailed out at 480, which is not bad. OK. 
Okay, 44 points right into the back for us. Green day. Not bad. All right. Uh, now, definitely, you know, we we have to uh, probably wait for quite some time until we get um, uh, until we get some kind of uh, other type of pattern. But definitely, tech foot. We had the shot. We had the pullback, and then we had the rotation that kicked in at nine forty five precisely. Uh, right timing in the market to go long. It was definitely the best time to go long. We got in long. Uh, we hit our resistance zones right here, and then we stayed out of the algo zone. We're done. <laughs> um, Laura is sweet and much less painful than a visit to the dentist. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there's some divergency that is happening right now into the indices, and we can expect some pullbacks. Remember, we didn't have a 10 o'clock pullback because the market rallied for 945, which was expected based on 15 minute rotation. And it took the price right into our target. So basically, we did have uh, four target. What? No, we did have one, two, three, four, five targets that were achieved. Five targets that were achieved. So if you would have taken profits into each and every single layer, then definitely you would, uh, you know, you would have scaled out. Or if you would have held the whole entire position, 480 is your, you know, your final trail. And that's pretty much it. What I'm expecting right now into 1030 is um, a pullback. Now, depending on how steep or how shallow this pullback is going to be, that is going to dictate the rest of the, uh, it's going to dictate the rest of the uh, trading session today. So what do I mean by that? And what are the levels that we can expect? So remember, we didn't have a 10 o'clock reversal. So therefore, 1030, instead of having the trigger time, it's going to be replaced by a reversal time. How steep or how shallow that remains to be decided, depending on the market context. And we're going to probably watch and see what the context will be. But uh, if we're going to start uh, pulling back, I'm expecting the first pullback to happen. So this is the high right here. The first pullback to happen into the 450, possibly into the Dow, or anywhere into this spot right here um, would be acceptable. At least 50% retracement from the high to low. That would be okay. 25%, it means that we're going to be extremely, uh, that we're going to be extremely, um, a bullish for the continuation of the day. Uh, also, into the MNE SP pullbacks or possible shallow pullbacks into the space 3207 to, and even if it goes 3205 or so, as long as it's not violating the New York trading session low, that's fine. This is a New York trading session low as well. So, if we're getting shallow pullbacks right here and all the indices shallow, so that's what we need to do. We need to see at least into the first. Uh, um, well, let's say in 15 minutes from now to 20 minutes from now. So if we have these shallow pullbacks, the rest of the trade, the rotation that is going to come from this move, from this shallow pullback, if we're going to get shallow pullbacks, uh, are go, uh, this, these pullbacks are going to extend the price higher. Um, if we are going to retrace back into these 10 EMAs, then we're going to expect lower lows for the trading session today and the market is going to move south. So definitely from now on, uh, we will have to wait at least an hour before we get some kind of information on a setup for the trading session today. Don't forget, today's Friday and we don't expect, you know, a lot of activity to go into this uh, end of the day. There can be some bearish sentiment. I do not want to participate in that. I'm seeing that financials right now, they're still holding, but they gave back some of the profits that they were, uh, that they were in launch phase into the uh, open, which is about an hour ago. So right now it's 1030. The first hour of the trading session is already in. We have our lows for the New York trading session. We have our highs for the New York trading session. So therefore we have our range. 
it'll be determined what will uh, what will happen from now on. So like I said, before we get another setup, it's gonna be really way too late for us to get into another trade. This is all for today, guys. I'm really excited to work with you guys on Monday for those of you that have enrolled to the Power Rank of Futures training course. Uh, it is going to open the door to new opportunities and new profits, literally in any Thing that you will be trading in stocks and futures and I don't know in anything if you're an options trader is definitely going to help you with that so yes Alex that's a good question you will be receiving an email with instructions uh, how to log in this weekend how to log in uh, to the course uh, there's a separate room for that and uh, uh, you will uh, have access from Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern. The course is from 2 to 4 p.m. And I'm very excited to teach it. It's the best time to learn how to trade. Uh, definitely, you, you can see how you know we make it uh, stress-free. We make it a stress-free environment. And uh, we love to go for the focus trades. Like I said, don't try to reinvent the trades. If you do not have a track record, a performance that is sustainable. And if you're in this trading room, just follow me along, okay? Just follow me along. Follow the trades that I do, the entries, the exact entries, the exact stops, and the targets. And I trail, so even if you trail with only one lot, whether it's mini or micro, I don't care. It's the same trade and you should manage it the same way. So just follow me to the T and you will have the same results that we have in the portfolio. I only trade these two hours a day and then I'm done. And literally today was from 9.30 to 10.30, about an hour, okay? We're done for the day, guys. Um, uh, is the trading room also open to new students? Uh, yes, Wilson, you, you signed up for the course. Yeah, you, sh you should have received instructions. If not, just send me an email or you will see full instructions as we uh as we move along you guys already have 30 days access to the trading room but that is going to kick in august 4th so not now this is complimentary okay hey brian have a great weekend have a great weekend everyone okay uh laura did you sign up for the course okay did you sign up for the course okay Okay, if you signed up for the course, the instructions, uh, you're gonna receive the instructions this weekend, how to access uh, the, uh, the, um, the, the, the room where we host the course. Okay. All right, everyone, have a great one. I will see you guys on Monday at nine o'clock. And I'm very excited. We had a fantastic week again. Okay. Thank, hey, Amy. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, Rakesh. Happy weekend, everyone. Okay. Bye, guys. Enjoy the weekend.